is the difference between Salesforce Nonprofit Success Pack to the new Salesforce Nonprofit Cloud? How long do we have? Rather than that. So, <laughs> so uh, look, we're going to first start with the origins of Salesforce. Where did it begin? It began with Mark Benioff looking at how can we make business software as easy to use as Amazon.com at the time. And so it was a business to business tool predominantly. The whole structure was about how do I have a sales opportunity, make it as easy as possible to sell to other businesses. And that's why the name Sales Cloud uh, exists or Salesforce exists as well. Now, the thing is that as part of their DNA, they've always said, we care about this nonprofit sector. You know, it was a part of the core value set, part of the core DNA from day one, which is amazing. But the software didn't really fit in. And so the community kind of banded together to go, well, look, we're getting these free licenses or you know, discount, heavily discounted licenses from Salesforce. How can we build models that will make it possible? And leveraging on this community thinking, Salesforce kind of took charge of it and said, well, let's make this an actual product extension. Let's make a managed package, an app that can be installed on top of Salesforce that turns it from being a business to business tool to being something that can help fundraisers raise money. But then it kept morphing and growing. And so over the space of 10 to 15 years, it would add new capabilities like case management, grants management and the like, but they were all just add on apps. And they were good, they were extremely good uh, for what it could do, but it didn't really glue together and it wasn't on the core platform, meaning it's a third party app sitting on top, the performance, the scalability of it was not quite as good as what it would have been if it was just built directly in what they call the core Salesforce platform. And so there came this tipping point, uh, this tipping point about two years ago where Salesforce was asking the question, do we invest more in this kind of old way of doing things or are we willing to just rethink what does a good, well-run nonprofit look like? And that's really the decision, you know, was clearly, let's give it another go using nonprofit cloud as a new catalyst for that. And so what are the key things there? It's not a managed package, it's built on the core. It's been designed from the ground up using standard Salesforce capabilities to go, we're not gonna build shortcuts around it, let's just do it properly from the ground up to make it as easy as possible to manage everybody. So not just donors, but volunteers, clients, funders and the like, everybody is all managed in that one place where we have that single record of an individual knowing all of the touch points that are around. Now, the other part that has been really good about uh, Nonprofit Cloud is that they're a part of what they call the industry cloud family. And so Salesforce have realized that our generic platform at the bottom has been great. It served an amazing job for the you know, fueling the growth that they've been seeing. But now the market demands somewhere that's not a full point solution product, but it's not a full just development platform. How do we get that middle ground? And so this is where industry cloud came in, which was to say, let's come up with some templates and capabilities, finance, health, media, and telecommunications, public sector. How do we build these kind of points of view directly on top of this core platform, built in the core platform, but specific to industries that we're targeting, of which education and nonprofit are two of those. And so they've really thought from the ground up, embedding it in and leveraging as much as they can from these other industry cloud solutions to go, what have they learned? What have they learned? And let's get the best of what's already been learned and put it into there. And so, I mean, sometimes people ask, how on earth can you build such a massive product in just one year? Well, in actual fact, the amount they had to build was quite minimal because they use a whole raft of components that already existed in this industry cloud area. And so, you know, yes, they did have to build out a few project, a uh, program management, case management module components, but it did use a lot from the uh, health cloud and public sector cloud industry solutions. Fundraising was built from the ground up, which is why it took about six months longer uh, to get out there. But um, you know, I've met their product team, amazing bunch who've worked in uh, the industry for over 20 years, worked in some of the market leading competitors uh, for a number of years. And they've taken that knowledge, rethought about it, and put it into the product. And so this is what, you know, one is definitely a lot more modern, built from the ground up, thinking about what's best, extremely scalable, and lots of componentry borrowed or inst and stolen from other industries to make it work so well in that nonprofit sector. But I don't want to discount what MPSP is, is an amazing solution that's been built, you know, 15 years worth of knowledge shoved into there, but it is a bit older. And I, I would suggest we'll start transitioning uh, kind of out over time.
That's, that was a great answer. Justin is also one of the leading partners in the world with Nonprofit Cloud. It's, it's just been released. When was it released, Justin? Uh, it was released in March last year. That was their programming case management module. Outcomes came out about three to six months later, and then fundraising came out in October. Great. And my understanding is you're one of the first partners in the world to implement it. That's right. So we've been uh, really privileged to be able to have a direct relationship with the Salesforce product team uh, to represent the Australian market. So you know, when we think about the US, the concept of regular givers, uh, it does exist, but it's definitely nowhere to the degree of what exists in Europe and in Australia. You know, when you've got access to these billionaires with massive foundations that can just dump a few tens of millions into your cores at a time, that's where you're going to focus your energies. But in Australia, uh, definitely regular giving is a massive piece where you need you know, kind of ideally 50,000 plus regular givers to support your cause. And in those type of scenarios, Salesforce's product team maybe weren't as across what some of the nuances were there. And so we had that, that privilege to work with them on sharing what we've been seeing as best practice locally. There are some European partners as well, all contributing to helping shape the product uh, going forward. And uh, in terms of implementations, we want some of the, you know, one of the first partners to definitely sell it, implement it as well. And in particular, the fundraising piece that's just come out to use a lot of the new capabilities that um, have just been released. 